Hello friends! I have had a lot of requests for a how-to on transferring files from your PC to your GoTech. This tutorial shows the procedure for the classic Amiga computer, but the theories involved apply to any host device, such as other old computers, musical equipment, and even embroidery machines. Let's start out with the theory and practice regardless of your host machine. GoTeks do not read your files directly from your USB, so copying your data or applications directly to your USB drive is useless. This is because the GoTech is a floppy drive replacement and will only read floppy disk images. Think of the GoTech as a direct replacement for your old floppy drive, which it is, and think of the files that you put on the thumb drive as disks. So to transfer files from your PC to your old device requires you to copy those files to a disk image and then take the disk image and put it on the thumb drive. This is the same as having a blank disk to save to. I will also demonstrate creating this blank disk image in this tutorial, so stay tuned. If you are still confused, watch the following demonstration and it should allow you to wrap your head around how the GoTech works. I only have Amiga computers in my collection, so I will use the Amiga in this video. But as I said, the theory and practice is the same for any host device. For other devices, I cannot be of much specific help. However, do not despair, the GoTech has been around for several years, and I myself have sold hundreds on eBay to buyers all over the world and for every conceivable host device. A quick search on the internet or your forums of choice should yield more information about your device. If any of the viewers of this video have any more information about other host devices, please post a comment below for the community. And if you are interested in buying a GoTech from me, please visit my eBay store. The link is in the description. So now I'm going to show you how to create a blank disk image and copy an Amiga file to it. The way to do this for the Amiga computer is to use an emulator on our PC. WinUAE is a free Amiga emulator. The purpose of this video is not to show you how to use WinUAE. I and others have videos on that, but it is pretty easy to use. First, get yourself a blank USB thumb drive and format it with the FAT32 file system. Once you've done that, run WinUAE as an administrator. Using the default Amiga 1200 emulation is fine. Let's go to the floppy drive section and change the drive speed to turbo since we are impatient. Next, we are going to create a blank disk image. Label it and input a file name. Now this is as far as you would need to go if you just needed a blank disk image. Just take that file, copy it to your thumb drive, and you're ready to go. But we are going to copy a file to the image, so here's what we do. Select a workbench disk for drive 0. In this case, I'm using workbench 1.3. Then select your newly created blank disk for drive 1. That is our destination, but we need to select the source. And to do that, we must mount one of our PC's folder as a virtual hard drive. Go to CD and Hard Drive and click Add Directory or Archive. Name it and set the volume label. DH1 is pretty common for Amigas. Also select it to not boot. Then find the folder on your PC that contains your source file or files. In this case, I'm using my Amiga Utilities folder. Click OK and we see now we have a work hard drive pointed to our utilities folder. Now we just need to start the emulator. We see both our destination floppy disk and the DH1 work drive. Let's find a file to copy. 
You may want to change to all files so you can see the files that have no icons. I'm just going to copy the degrader application in this example. So now we have our Amiga file on our disk image. We can quit the emulator and we just need to copy the disk image to our USB thumb drive. Now we could have saved this step by creating the image file on the USB stick, but I decided to show this longer sequence for demonstration purposes. So we just need to eject our USB and try it on our host machine. So here I have my Amiga 500 test rig with two GoTex. The first drive is set with a disk image of Workbench 1.3, which I've already loaded. And the second is empty, ready to receive our USB thumb drive. You don't necessarily need two disk drives. Again, this is just for demonstration. So inserting the USB into the second drive gets us our new disk image called John's Utils. And we can see the floppy label come up on the screen and we can access the file we copied. That pretty much does it. Transferring files back to your computer is obviously the reverse procedure. If you're using your PC for simply archiving your classic device's data, simply copy the disk images to your hard drive from the USB stick. Again, I'd like to point out I don't own every conceivable host machine for the GoTech, so I do not know what this procedure is for other machines. I would encourage those with more information to post it in the comments for all. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.